Hi, Mike Gibson here from ACC 2010 on Duke TV with John Puskas. Welcome, John. It's great to be here. Thank you, Mike. A big clinical issue is what is the right uh, INR for a patient with a mechanical valve? Currently, we all run our INRs around uh, two to three, but there, maybe there's some hope that we could lower that and have a safer approach with maybe some newer valves and testing some newer thresholds. Tell us about your trial. So this uh, PROAC trial, uh, and I'm happy to discuss it on behalf of all the investigators who have enrolled patients in this multi-center trial. Uh, this PROAC trial was designed to test whether a new valve, a newer valve, manufactured by Onyx Corporation, um, could be safely used with lower than the usual doses of anticoagulation. So as you commented, the ACC AHA guidelines from 06 advocate an INR of 2 to 3 with a baby aspirin uh, for patients with an aortic uh, mechanical prosthesis. Uh, this uh, uh, group that we are talking about today uh, were patients who uh, had relatively higher risks for thromboembolism and so they were not randomized in the limb of our trial that looks at Plavix and aspirin alone, but rather they were randomized to have um, a lower than usual dose of Coumadin and compared to a control group of similar patients who had the standard Coumadin therapy. Um, why is this a sensible thing to believe it would work? Uh, there is a, this newer valve uh, has some design features uh, that might make one believe that uh, it would be less hemolytic, have a, a more laminar flow and less thrombosis risk. So the thought was we could uh, work at the top of the INR spectrum, bring that down, reduce risk of bleeding events, uh, hopefully without uh, incurring a cost uh, of greater uh, incidence of thromboembolic events. Uh, so that's the, the, the thought behind uh, mm -hmm. the study. And of course, as such, it is a non-inferiority design uh, hypothesis. How many patients uh, did you enroll? We enrolled uh, roughly 200 patients in each of the control and, and uh, test groups. So uh, it's uh, 400 patients in this high-risk AVR uh, group. And what did you find? So the patients uh, initially are treated all in a standard fashion for the first 90 days, treated with the standard um, Coumadin INR 2.0 to 3.0 uh, with a baby aspirin. At 90 days, the randomization uh, takes place. Mm -hmm. So this is not a test of the, of the implantation technique or the valve, really. It's a test of um, anticoagulation strategies for a valve implanted safely into a patient beginning 90 days after surgery. At that point, they are randomized to continue the standard therapy or to have the lower than usual INR. And what we found was that, uh, as you might guess, uh, we did, in fact, reduce bleeding events. Uh, in the lower anticoagulation group w uh, by a significant margin, uh, but did not incur a significant cost in terms of thromboembolic events. So that the uh, combination of bleeding and thromboembolic event rates, so uh, plus uh, death, uh, was uh, very similar between the two groups. Mm -hmm. Certainly no statistical difference at this point. Interesting. So um, then the net clinical benefit was about? About the same. About the same. About the same. The net clinical benefit about the same with Roughly um, something on the order of uh, 550 uh, patient years follow-up, right. uh, well, roughly 1.5 uh, years uh, mean follow-up at this point. Did you feel like you were adequately powered to address the question? So that the end point will be followed through five years. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, so this is an interim analysis, Got it. Uh, and yeah. we are not powered at this point to definitively answer the question. But with enough events, the five years will be, you'll be powered. Correct. Good. Any take-home messages then for practicing clinicians? Yeah, I think that the, the this particular valve and, and with this valve alone, with this valve alone, with this valve alone is the right. only valve being tested in this regard. It does appear safe uh, to use uh, lower than usual doses of anti of Coumadin, but again, this is an FDA IDE trial. Right. Uh, we cannot make a rec recommendation against right. the guidelines at this right. point in time. Sure, very important take home message: <laughs> don't start running your INRs lower no. at this time. No, yeah. it's only within um, this randomized trial uh, sure. that that would be acceptable. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Great work. I Thanks for joining it. us today. And thanks to all of you out there for joining us here for Duke TV.